This is the all-new Technocam on 20 Premier. It's an award-winning smartphone made from premium materials. It comes with a full HD Plus AMOLED display, excellent performance, good cameras, and a decent battery. The Technocam on 20 Premier is priced at 29,500 Naira. It's more expensive than the Samsung Galaxy A54, the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G, and the Vivo V27 5G. So, is it worth buying over those smartphones? Let's find out. I usually love unboxing Techno smartphones, and that's because right on the box, there are goodies waiting for you. Goodies like MTN Glow and Airtel Data. Opening the box, the first item you're going to see is the smartphone. It comes in two colors, Dark Welkin and Serenity Blue. This blue color is fine. It comes with a 12 plus one month warranty card. By the way, Techno has one of the best after sales service provided by CalCare. It comes with a premium case, it's translucent, and the sides are made from rubber. Inside this box, you get to see a SIM ejector tool, earphones that connect to the smartphone via USB Type-C port, a USB Type-C cable, and a 45 watt charger that charges this smartphone from 0 to 100% in 1 hour 13 minutes. Now, the Techno Common 20 Premier is built differently from other mid-range smartphones. The wire is made from magic skin leather that feels good to the touch, and it is stain, water, and heat resistant. Also, it doesn't attract fingerprints and smudges. Now check out the camera bump. It's stronger than my coconut head. Ouch! <laughs> it's made from ceramic and it has a more hardness of 8.5. With that type of hardness, stainless steel keys won't be able to scratch it. The only thing I don't like about it is it attracts fingerprints. Now the sides of this smartphone are made from plastic with a reflective coat on it. Moving to the display, it has no cunning Gorilla Glass protection and my unit already has some scratches on it. The Techno Common 20 Premier is an IP53 dust and splash resistant smartphone, so if you're caught in the rain, it should survive water splashing on it. For the external features, at the top, it comes with a microphone and a speaker. It has dual stereo speakers that sound good. On the right side is where the volume and power buttons are located. Moving to the bottom, it has dual nano SIM card tray that accepts two 5G SIM cards. By the way, it's a 5G smartphone. It has another microphone, that's the main microphone, a USB Type-C port and a speaker. Flipping the phone around, it comes with an ultra-steady 50 megapixel camera with OIS, a 108 megapixel ultra-wide camera, a 2 megapixel depth camera, flash LED light, and a laser autofocus sensor. At the front, it comes with a 32 megapixel shooter with a flash LED light. Now, the display on the Techno Common 20 Premier has been improved. The moment you look at it, the first thing you're going to notice is the slim bezels. It comes with a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel with a refresh rate of 120 Hz and a touch sampling rate of 360 Hz. Now, being an AMOLED panel, the display is vibrant, contrasty, and colorful. It also supports HDR10 content, so you get deeper blacks and sharper visuals when watching HDR content on this smartphone. It has the always-on display function where the display never sleeps and it shows you useful information like the time, battery level, and your notifications. Now, in the display settings, you can adjust the color style, temperature, you can customize the display, but I would recommend that you just leave it on the default settings. For brightness, with the high brightness mode on, I got a reading of 767 nits, and with that, you can use this display under direct sunlight. The display is bright enough, but compared with other mid-range smartphones, it isn't as bright as others. Now, one thing the display of the Techno Common 20 Premier has is eye protection. The display protects your eyes from blue lights, which can strain your eyes after prolonged usage. Also, it has a high pulse width modulation of 1920Hz, so it's a display you can use for hours without it affecting your eyes. Now, for consuming content, I love this display. The slim bezels, the stereo speakers, you're going to enjoy watching content on this device. Now, one area where the Techno Common 20 Premier dominates other mid-range smartphones is with the chipset that it comes with. It's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 850 chipset, a 6 nanometer processor with peak performance of 3 gigahertz, and it delivers supreme performance. I've been using the smartphone for a while and I have not experienced one lag. Launching applications is fast, moving around the user interface is fluid. I mean, even Antutu Benchmark thinks that the Techno Common 20 Premier is fast. With a score of 650K, the processor on it is faster than the processor on the Samsung Galaxy A54, Vivo V27 5G, and the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. 
Now switching to Geekbench, Technocam on 20 Premier has a single core score of 1101 and a multi core score of 3167. Again, for context, here are the scores of other mid range smartphones. It beats them. Now, we all know that running synthetic benchmark applications don't tell the full story when it comes to performance, but when you use this smartphone, you're going to feel how smooth and fast it is. I tell you, lag is not in the dictionary of this smartphone. Now, what about gaming? How well can it handle it? Well, it played PUBG on HDR graphics and ultra frame rate. This is the best graphic settings you will see on any mid-range smartphone at the time of making this video. The gameplay was smooth. I love how the dual stereo speakers are blasting the sound towards my ear. The screen size is perfect for gaming. Honestly, I enjoyed playing PUBG on this smartphone. Now, this smartphone did get warm a bit like other smartphones would. The Technocam on 20 Premier has liquid cooling technology inside it and that will help it to keep the heat down. Also, the Magic Screen Leather that is resistant to heat also keeps the heat away from your fingers. Now, for Call of Duty, it played the game at very high graphics and maximum frame rate. For a smartphone to play Call of Duty at maximum frame rate, you already know that it will run the game smoothly. Now, moving to Genshin Impact, the Technocam on 20 Premier by default played the game at medium graphics. That's impressive for a mid-range smartphone. Most mid-range smartphones run this game by default on low graphic settings. You can also increase the frame rate to 60 and it's run Genshin Impact well. Now, multitasking is excellent on this smartphone. It comes with 8GB of RAM that you can expand to 16GB of RAM using Memory Fusion. Switching between apps is fluid and launching apps is fast. Now, the Android operating system on this smartphone is the latest one, Android 13, and when Android 14 comes out, the Technocam on 20 Premier will be one of the first smartphones to get it. Not only that, the Technocam on 19 Premier from last year would also get the Android 14 update. Well done, Techno. Please keep it up. Now, going into the app drawer, you're going to see a number of pre-installed applications. The good news is you can uninstall them or block them. I urge you to do so because that way you're going to recover some storage and you're also going to avoid getting notifications. I'll be making a tips and tricks videos on the things you need to do when you get the Technocam on 20 Premiere, so subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on that one. Now, moving to the cameras, the front-facing camera on the Technocam on 20 Premiere comes with a 32 megapixel shooter and it takes good pictures. In good lighting conditions, the picture it takes are generally good. Portrait shots look very nice with good separation. Now, to take portrait pictures, you need to go to the portrait mode, tap on this icon and select the f-stop. The lower the f-stop number, the blurrier the picture will be. I prefer an f-stop of between 2 to 2.8. Now back to the portrait picture, sometimes it doesn't get the separation right but it's still usable. Now in this situation where there isn't enough light, the pictures it captures don't look bad. I turned on the flash for this picture, as you can see it looks better. But all does is where the front facing camera shines. Auto HDR is turned on by default and it allows you to capture balanced looking images like this one. This is what it looks like with the HDR turn off so please do not turn off HDR. One thing Techno has improved on is how it shows skin tones and it looks much better. You can also capture AR pictures if you're into that. Now one feature that the Techno Cam on 20 Premier has that most smartphones don't have is a front facing flashlight. So if you're in a dark situation, you can still make a video and see yourself properly. Yes, a video without a flash, as you can see, you can't see anything. What's up guys? So yes, a video from the front facing camera of the Techno Cam on 20 Premier, the 32 megapixel front facing camera. It can shoot in 2K, 30 FPS. What do you guys think about the video and audio quality? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, how is it handling dynamic range? It's not bad, I can see those barbed wires over there. So it's handling dynamic range okay, as you can see. But hey, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm going to bring it close to my face. What do you guys think about the video and audio quality? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the front facing camera has HDR that can capture high dynamic range and as you can see, the 32 megapixel front facing camera also has the ability to capture in HDR as you can see, those barbed wires, are you can now see them properly and those wires over there. The trade off is quality is going to dip, it only shoots in 1080p 30fps when you turn on HDR for video. The front facing camera also has the video bokeh effect and as you can see it's blurring out the background and just leaving me in focus. In this mode again there's a trade off, you're going to be shooting in 1080p 30fps so the quality might drop a little bit but hey, 
it's doing a fantastic job in blurring out the background and just leaving me in focus so is this the feature you're going to use let me know in the comment section below now for video the front facing camera has ultra steady and when turned on it helps stabilize the footage the trade-off is when ultra steady is on you can only shoot in 1080p 30 fps now moving to the rear cameras, the Technocam on 20 Premier comes with an ultra steady 50 megapixel main camera with OIS, a 108 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. This picture was captured using the 50 megapixel main camera and it looks good, the skin tone is on point, the details are present, here's another picture as you can see it's not bad, good details, the rear camera does a good job when it comes to taking portrait pictures as well. Again, when you're in portrait mode, make sure you tap on this icon and set the f-stop. Now check out the skin tone, it's obvious that Techno has improved in showing skin tones. Generally, the pictures captured by the main camera are decent, it produces pictures that you can just post on social media without editing and will look good. Now the AI camera knows when you're about to take a picture of food and other objects and it adds a bit of saturation which I like. Now the Technocam on 20 Premiere has dual video mode which allows you to capture footage using the front and rear camera at the same time. This is very useful for content creators. Now moving to the 108 megapixel ultra wide camera, yes you had right, 108 megapixel ultra wide camera. This is definitely the highest megapixel count on an ultra wide camera I have ever seen. Now it takes good pictures and because it has a large megapixel count, you can crop into the picture and it's still going to look good. Sky Shop is present on this smartphone and with it, you can replace the sky. You can even turn a sunny day dark and add a moon if you fancy. With the Technocam on 20 Premiere, you can take paramatic pictures and the details are not bad. It can also capture super macro pictures and taking pictures at night is good. What's up guys, so here's a video from the rear camera, the 50 megapixel rear camera of the Technocamo 20 Premiere. Right now it's shooting in 4K 30fps. What do you guys think about the video quality and the audio quality? Let me know in the comment section below. Ta -da! <laughs> so the rear camera has this video broker effect where it blows out everything behind me and just leaves me in focus. Right now it's at f2.0. What do you guys think about the bokeh effect? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, I forgot to mention that in this mode, it shoots in 1080p, 30fps, no 4K. Wow, 108 megapixel ultra wide camera. That's the camera I'm using right now to record this video. It's shooting in 4K, 30fps, and what do you guys think about the quality? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the Technocam on 20 Premiere comes with a 5000 mAh battery and it should last the entire day if you're a light or medium user. Battery life on most Android smartphones have improved, so battery on the Technocam on 20 Premiere is good. When it comes to charging, using the 45 watts fast charger that it comes with, charging the smartphone from 0 to 100% took 1 hour 13 minutes and here's a breakdown of the charging time. Now in conclusion, the Technocam on 20 Premiere is a tiny bit more expensive than other mid-range smartphones and I think it's justified. It comes with more storage, the processor on this smartphone is more powerful than other mid-range smartphones, the build quality is decent, it's built with premium materials but the display is lacking Corning Gorilla Glass protection. The display quality is good, the stereo speakers sound fantastic, good for watching content and playing games but the brightness level on the screen is not on par with other mid-range smartphones. The battery life on this smartphone is solid and the cameras have been improved from previous generation but it isn't quite on the level of the Samsung Galaxy A54 and the Vivo V27 5G. But the good news is it takes better pictures than the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. Let me know which comparison you would want to see in the comment section below. So that's my review of the Technocam on 20 Premiere. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys very soon. Valor Reviews, signing out. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.